Hi viewers, I am Sikandar Rafiq and on this channel Elite Soft, I will show you how to use different technologies and language constructs to build useful software components and items. In this series of videos, I will show you how to create image viewer, how to load images and how to add zoom in, zoom out and fit to window options. So let's start. Um, in this today's video in today's video i will show you how to create main window where we can have a customized header widget and another widget which is called content frame or content widget which can be used later on to add image viewer as a child widget and image so let's create a new project application select qt widget application <coughs> Yeah, this is my default project location. Name project as image viewer. And currently I'm using Qt 4.8.7. Uh, so let's start this kit. Main window option. Let's make it. Uh, Uh, no to add volume control uh, just finish so I have created the project just like this so this uh, build directories okay this I will change the build directory path build this is my default project build and over here you can specify dash j4 option to use um, processor for uh, cores to expedite the compiling procedure so let's uh, build this project your currently this is uh, shown so I will show maximize to show widget as a maximize form so let's open uh, main window UI file in a notepad C++ so I am here uh, modifying this UI file in Notepad C++ because it is more easier to modify this. I don't have to use it. Oh, sorry. We are using the construct uh, central widget for remain this as a central widget because we want to add more components over here in central widget <coughs> um, I will uh, explain one by one what it is uh, just first of all copy uh, one more thing you can uh, do over here is as you can see that it is not considering as XML so copy this file and uh, just again open it so it will show you as XML and you can uh, apply this so over here I can modify this uh, widget widget default height and uh, width and height just name it image viewer <coughs> so um, what I have done is I have just added the central vertical layout in the central widget so spacing is zero, left margin, right margin, 
and uh, bottom margin. Um, I will explain it. Let's first add one component. So I have added the header uh, one widget which is named as header. So this is the uh, size policy is uh, preferred. I have set. So minimum size is I have set the height is 68 and maximum height is also 68. So if I will show you, so this this is uh, created as uh, this is the R header widget. So let's do one thing more. Um, Let's add a uh, change style sheet. So I have applied the style sheet over here. So this is now shown. I want to add QT resource file. So let's name it icons because we are adding over here icons. No. <coughs> copy this icon folder it has few icons um, over here you can see I'm adding the prefix just slash is enough I'm adding all these files and save the icons.qrc file so now you can see that our images are shown over here if we compile the project it is shown as it is so this is the uh, header component but uh, I have to add one more uh, component in it I will show you it is the I have done it <coughs> I have added the horizontal layout in the uh, in this component as you can see is vertical layout I have added one widget named header then I have added the horizontal layout which has spacing 4 and uh, left margin is 10 top margin is 9 and right margin is 17 so over here you can see that left margin and right margin all these uh, components which we are adding in this horizontal layout is adding in this horizontally so now then I will add the uh, three buttons uh, first button is named image viewer just I have set this icons um, icons elate fof.png which I will show you yeah this is the so this has five icons uh, which we have added just before so elate Sort, open, zoom in, zoom out, and zoom to extend. <coughs> so I have set the normal off and um, set. Okay. Um, over here, you can see that the push button cursor shape is the property. Um, to push button you can QT 
break but don't know. This is the Q cursor property. So, yeah, you can see that uh, this is the cursor shape property. And over here, um, I have set the pointing hand cursor. So, uh, this is the pointing hand cursor so this is the inner uh, pointing hand cursor so I have like this then I have set the icons as I already shown you icon set is the, this is the width and height of the icon which I have set flat property is blue and so it has one um, image viewer button which is this over here you can see that this is the image button image viewer button then we have spacer horizontal spacer horizontal uh, spacer and width and height set I have uh, the 40 and 20 so this is the horizontal spacer And another widget I have added is open which is the same just I have changed the icon and some names so as we don't need the queue menu bar so I am just deleting it so this is our So um, now um, now project will find and uh, this is our current layout. Just I add I, the new item in it. Currently I have added the header uh, widget. So now I want to add another item which is called the content frame, in which later on we will add the image viewer. So over here, I will show you what I have done is in this uh, content frame is the Q frame. As you have seen, the this is the frame property, frame shape. I have set the no frame. Uh, you can see only QT documentation, no frame. So this is the frame shape property and frame shape you can apply these constants in them. So I have used the QT frame, no frame. So um, then the frame shadow, another property I have just said the raised and the I have added even more uh, vertical layout in this. Uh, content frame because I want to add more components in it so I have said the I have to set the layout first maybe it's horizontal or vertical so I have set the vertical layout so this is just the left top margin you can apply as you want then I have added the one item in it which is I have called the image viewer page this is the Q widget in Q widget I have add the one more vertical layout because I want to add the image viewer in this I have in this page so if you want to add the another item in the Q widget then you have to add layout so I will add I have added the another layout, vertical layout, and set this. 
left and top margins so let's uh, see this because this is the uh, content frame over here you can see this is uh, also highlighting this its border and it is the header image so if we build this project so it will show the header you can customize this header as you want and you can add as many buttons items and many other components and widgets in the in this header widget and customize as per your requirements and this is the second widget which is i have called the which is not shown but in the next videos i will show you so we will add the image viewer in this content frame so i have created the two section in this video header frame and the content frame so uh, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please share support and subscribe my channel elite so thank you so much